Kia ora, my name is Selena Pereka. I whakapapa to Ngāti Raukaua ki te tonga, Ngāti ki Kōpere and Te Arawa. Oronga Mai Marae is probably one of my heart spaces. My, my brothers were all raised in the Kohanga and so we, so we were always here. This is where I was raised and these are the people that, that know me. My mum, all her friends were all trans, um, trans hunga whakawahine. So we, ha we were surrounded by all the queens and um, all of those people when, when I was younger. Um, I just thought they were all my aunties or all my nannies. I'm very proud of my maritanga. I'm not sure who I would be had it not been for my maritanga. And for that I'm very thankful. There's been many times where I've um, where I've done the karanga. I think probably the first time uh, totally unaware of it would have been when I was a child and I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it looked like. I just knew what it sounded like. And for me, it sounded like my grandmother. And, um, and when I was a child, that's all I wanted to be when I was a child. When people asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, I want to be like my grandmother. So, in standing strong, I am here to protect the rights and responsibility of my kuya, and I'm here to protect the rights and responsibilities and, of, and um, acknowledgements to karanga and to other kuya. Um, I'm not here to take away their mana. Um, I am here to stand beside them in their mana, and that is the most important thing. I do see that tagatapui and um, I do see that Takatapui and Hunga Whakawahine and our Māori trans people have an import, the most important place in our space of Te Ao Māori, and that is caring and nurturing and protection. Who are my current role models? There are many. Chrissy Witoko, Mama Tere, Dana De Milo, Nanny Jennifer, um, Felicia Acton Brown, Stacey Kirapa, um, you know, Pauline Mullins, you know, Gemma Huriwai, Diane Jackson, Chanel Hati, you know, these are these are the generation that or the generation of um, the fight. So I'm here basically because of them. There's a whole list of these beautiful people. I have my own house which is um, quite important to me and they range from a different range of um, identities and, and whakapapa as well. The house is called the House of Poi and the reasoning for that is um, it's part and parcel of whakapapa. Like any other whānau, you're looking at the different personalities, you're looking at the dif different talents and the, um, what you can actually give your children. I hope that um, that being a part of the community and being a part of um, their Māori tanga in the same space is something that um, they would always hold on to and I think that's the main main thing for me as their mother. My hopes and my visions for the future generation and even in my children is that they will be able to live freer lives. That they won't have to struggle 
with not only their tangata puitanga, their whakawahine tanga, or their Māori tanga, that they, may, that they won't have to struggle with homelessness. And I do hope for them, for the future generations, that they hold more for themselves, that they give back to themselves, that they heal themselves. And also to remember that our fight and whatever we went through, it is not yours to hold, but it is yours to remember.